2035, we have a new pranayama. It's called Ujjayi Pranayama. Described in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Chapter 2, Sutra 51. Now, Ujjayi is described. Control the mouth, drawing energy slowly through both nostrils till it is felt to be sonorous from the throat to the heart. Control, in Sanskrit, the word um, Niroda was used. Then, um, Niroda um, doesn't mean to close, but to control. But because they speak in riddles, in, um, they speak in a symbolical language, they use the word mouth for Chandra Bindu, or in this case, um, yeah, it's Chandra Bindu. So it's not about closing the mouth, it's about being aware of Chandra Bindu. Control means that your attention is there. First, Ujjayi Pranayama is done standing up in Tadasana. It's the only Pranayama where you do not sit in a meditation pose. You do it standing up. Ujjayi means inflated. It means winner, actually. It is the feeling that you have when you, when you experience a victory, a win. It's why it is important that when we are children, that we engage in games, in games and competitions, sports and what have you. Because it is energy. It is energy that changes your condition. Do you remember what it feels like when you, when you have some kind of victory? It makes your chest swell up. It even changes your voice. We had a little boy who came with his mom to the yoga class um, every day in downtown, when we had the studio in downtown. And he was super flexible. He was just seven years old. He could put his feet on the back of his head. If he arched back, he, his head almost touched his buttock. So flexible. Without any sports or anything, just naturally. So I because he was bored doing the tree pose and the triangle pose, while his mom and other members did some of the, you know, the usual stuff that we do in a basic class, I played with him a little bit and let him do some more challenging poses. So we did an upward bow pose. And when you can do an upward bow pose, the next step is to start from Tadasana and then go back until your hands touch the floor. And when you can do that, the next step is to actually get up again. So from the bow pose, you get up in a standing position. And he's, he could go back, but he couldn't go up. But the day that he succeeded to get up, he was very timid, very spiritual, very calm, very timid, very shy. But the moment that he succeeded to get up, he was like this. Ah, oh, look at me, I did it, I did it! <laughs> so wonderful to see that. That is this. That is the feeling of winning. Having some kind of victory over yourself. I've never liked competition in which you make other people lose. I've never liked that. So I like individual sports and um, don't like games where you have to compete with each other and, and make other people lose. But you have your own victories on your own. Like when you practice yoga, there are exercises that you find difficult at first. And then comes the day that you actually succeed. You have that feeling. It's such a nice... That is this. What is it? It's energy. Chest swells up, the throat swells up, your voice becomes bigger and darker. Oh, oh, I did it! <laughs> Seven years old. So, so wonderful. But this is the exercise also that has healed people with chronic diseases. 
atopy and rheumatism is our experience. In the next sutra you will see why. So also we do this standing and the sutra explicitly instructs us to draw in energy slowly through both nostrils. You take Shiva and Shakti in at the same time. That seems difficult at first, but controlling the mouth, Chandra Bindu, is referring to the fact that when you are standing, to start with Ujjayi Pranayama, all you have to do is focus on Nada, focus on Chandra Bindu, and Shiva energy naturally starts to flow in. So once you have that going, you can focus on Shakti energy. Because Shakti energy needs willpower, needs your concentration, your focus. But Shiva energy comes in very easily. This phenomenon explains also why human beings have a tendency to be in a tamas condition. Shiva comes in so easy while Shakti needs effort. So we tend to be suffering from uh, an overdose of Shiva energy. Sutra 52. Perform Kubaka as before, just the way you are used to, but this time you do it in a standing position. And release the energy through Ida. So in the first step you let Shiva and Shakti in, Kumbhaka, then only Shiva out. Followed of course by the final Kumbhaka. This removes disorders in the throat caused by phlegm, which is tamas, and stimulates the fire in the body. What was fire again? vital energy. These three chakras becoming one big ball of glowing embers, glowing coal that fire up everything and lead to incredible health. And that is, people suffer from chronic diseases because they are lacking vital energy. In the case of the two people that we had experience with, it was both, they were kind of born with that condition. So it's not something that would have been helped by eating healthier food. Exercise did help a very little bit, but not to the point that the, uh, both, these, both did not, um, it, it was still suffering and requiring uh, medicine to deal with the symptoms. After they started doing yoga, including pranayama properly, they both got rid of all the medicine and also the person with the atopy, which has very visible signs, they almost completely disappeared. All the red rashes almost completely disappeared. The key is in the fire. It increases the fire in the body vital energy. Vital energy is responsible for all our functioning. When it is lacking, we don't function fully. We start to kind of slowly fall apart, decline. 53 makes it even clearer. It puts an end to the diseases of the nadis and the datus, as also dropsy. Walking or standing, this kumbhaka called ujjayi should be practiced. So here you have the sutra that tells us it's done standing. Walking. Walking is distracting. You have to be careful that you don't bump into other people or objects. So standing is just much more focused. If you, if you do it walking, which apparently is a way to do it, you will be distracted by, by the fact that you have to avoid obstacles. But it puts an end to the diseases of the nadis. Nadis are our energy channels. 
And all diseases are in fact caused by obstacles in the energy channels, blockages in the energy channels. And the datus, the datus, remember, are the seven building blocks out of which our body is built. All the material that we are built of are called datus. There are seven, starting with plasma, blood, um, muscle tissue, they're mentioned in the comment, fatty tissue, bone tissue, brain, and nerve tissue, and the final and the most complex is the male and female productive tissues. Chronic diseases often, they are always uh, about uh, lack of vital energy or energy blockage, severe energy blockages in the, in the nadis and or defects defects in the physical material that we are built of. So the, the, text, um, the text basically explains why this worked with these two students that have been suffering all their lives from terrible diseases to which doctors had no cure, no solution. Absolutely amazing that it works. It's the proof also that pranayama done as energy control through the power of the mind, the way that we do it, actually really works. Because both of them had tried pranayama as breath control and it just didn't have any uh, noticeable result. So that's what we're gonna do. We do it standing. When you're done, when you're done, you sit down on your cushion and the rest of the time, the remainder of the time, you concentrate on nada. <laughs> 